What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest in and Trade with Jax. Hope you're well. We're going to go over our friend Ethereum, uh, currently sitting at 1532, up 3% on the day, sitting a market cap of 182 billion. 24 hour volume, 16.34 billion. Let's hop into the charts. I'm gonna start here on the one hour time frame. So we're starting to see a reaction off this level here. Um, the bullish scenario is that we're going through a wave two pullback. And this is an over exaggerated um, wave B, and we're still looking to put in a wave C. The second bullish scenario is that we've already completed a wave one. We probably already met the minimum target where all of this was a wave one instead of an overshooting wave B. And you can take your fibber tracement from the start of your wave one to the top and yeah we've already met the minimum target the 0.382 so the really bullish scenario we bounce right here we come up we break this high and uh, we put in a wave three either that or what we're doing here is we've come down in a wave one this is a wave two pullback and now you're looking for your wave three wave four wave five to complete a wave two pullback those are the two bullish scenarios all right guys so potentially what you could be looking at here now if that were to be the case where you've come down in a wave one here's a wave two pullback you're looking for that wave three wave four wave five we'll change the color here uh let's change it to green and if we were to count the smaller wave count here we've come down in a wave one wave two pullback potential wave three wave four wave five and now that wave count is complete. So micro, change the color to, okay, sure, skin color. Um, kind of a light pale uh, white boy skin color. <laughs> so uh, we've come down in a five wave move and now you're looking for your wave two pullback of the wave three. So you could take your fib retracement all the way up from the beginning of the wave one down to the bottom uh, wave two pullback minimum retracement is a 0.382 at 1532 i'll just drop in a little box and then your usual retracement 0 0.5 to 0.786 in between 1568 and about 1657 what what happens here is you see a wave two pullback so this is a wave one of the wave three here in green you see a wave two pullback let me actually use uh, we'll have to make this smaller minuscule so what you'd be looking at let me just use my brush this is a completion of a wave one wave two pullback wave three wave four wave five to complete the wave three within the larger wave two all right guys that's one of your bullish scenarios and the really bullish scenario is that the wave one completed up here and we've met the minimum requirements if we come up and break these highs we put in a wave three to the upside um, the scenario that I'm looking at here is that this was all a corrective move. This was an overextended wave four, and now you're going to see a five wave move to the downside where we come up in a wave. We've come down in a wave one, wave two pullback, and now you're looking for your wave three to the downside. So what we could see here is this is a wave one within the wave three, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. Complete the wave three, see the wave four pullback, see your final wave five to put in a lower low for Ethereum. That is what I'm expecting, but I could be completely wrong if we come up and break this wave too high. Um, that could be a little bit more confluence that we may see the bullish scenario play out. However, we do have this head and shoulders pattern that we've broken down from. I'm just going to move this over here. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So we've broken down. Looks like we're coming back up for a retest of the neckline, which is currently coming in at about 1551. If we break that neckline and validate the pattern, come up and break the right shoulder, then we could flip over and start to look at the bullish scenario um, a little bit more closely here. But as I've been mentioning, I know a lot of people are looking at an inverse head and shoulders, but something I noticed that you don't see very often in inverse head and shoulders is a head and shoulders within the right shoulder. So as you can see, we have that head and shoulders pattern within the right shoulder. Usually what you'll see is you'll come up and you'll consolidate and maybe you'll create an inverse head and shoulders or you'll see some sideways consolidation but usually you don't see a head and shoulders within the right shoulder. So personally, as I've been mentioning, I do think this is a bear market rally, and we're seeing something similar to what we did in the previous bear market, where we came down, created a right shoulder, we had a huge relief bounce, created a head, and then created a right shoulder, but what happened is we continued to drop. So once again, we've come down, created that left shoulder, uh, come down, created that head, and came back up, and everyone thinks, well, this is a right shoulder, gonna be a huge breakout. 
um, and then we just continue to fall as you can see here but we'll have to see what happens just because it happened in the previous bear market doesn't mean it's going to happen again but personally I don't think the bottom is in I think there's one more wave down so that's basically it for this little update here uh, do watch for a potential rejection in between about 1568 and about 1657 if that does happen we get rejected we start to come down then what we're looking at is we're going to put in a wave three the really bullish scenario is that we've already completed the wave two and this is not a, reg a regular ABC correction as I've been looking at here and then we pu start to push up we break these highs and push up in a wave three it's a possibility but personally I don't think it's a likely scenario all right guys that's it for this ETH update big shout out to the discord where you can get my exact entries excess and take profits Re recently gave a Matic short trade didn't quite reach my technical target ended up breaking even on the trade but that's A-OK -okay. Um, just gave a signal today actually for one of the cryptocurrencies. <laughs> just recently dropped a signal today as well. Over 2,000 members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto. You can sign up through the Patreon link if you want to trade with me. You can sign up to Bybit and I'll see you in the next video. All right, much love. Take care.